One man, the focus of attention. Being the top scorer in the league, it is no surprise to see our cameras are focused on him. But can he add to his tally today? We'll find out soon. Hello from a stadium with a reputation for producing one of the liveliest atmospheres in the English game. We're in South London at Selhurst Park. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Crystal Palace versus Manchester United. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And here's the Palace 11. Rob Holding plays alongside Joe Gomez in central defence. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, key to their success today will be the front three. If they combine well, are clever around the box and rotate their positions, they'll cause all sorts of problems. Well, when you have the best defensive record in the league, it's a sign of genuine togetherness. And that's what United keep on showing, Stuart. Well, I can only admire the work rate, the know-how and the desire of their defensive structure. It's been brilliant this season, and I don't expect that to change today. Intercepted effortlessly. Well, Manchester United impressed in the last game, winning against Manchester City. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, the results said it all, didn't it? Brilliant going forward and hard to break down as well. Today, I'm expecting them to repeat that performance by having the majority of the ball and creating good chances. Let's hope we have some really good attacking football. And behind it's John for a corner. Who can he pick out? And did his job defensively. Alfonso Davies. Will he play it in? And given the defender's touch, the referee says corner. <laughs> and over it comes. Clearance needed to be better. Madison. William Saniba. Madison with it. Alexander Arnold. Magnificent defending. And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Mistake by the keeper. Well, it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. 
Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. Good effort here! Well, he had it on target, but it was never going to trouble the keeper. And given away. Effective challenge. Wonderful block. Madison. Not out of the woods yet. Now, it looks as though there's been a goal in the Liverpool game. Over to Alex for the details. It's a goal for West and still danger here. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Well, that could prove to be... Oh, Stewart's a chance! And that was goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. It's absolutely remarkable. His reflexes were brilliant there. Playing it in. Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. So Palace get the game restarted. Disappointed to have conceded. Now can they come up with a quick response? Well, as you'll have noticed, we had to cut Alex a bit short just then. Just to confirm, West Ham did find it. Oh, surely! Can they cover up? And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Oh, that's a really good run. Credit to them for winning back possession. Ezzy. <laughs> Electing to shoot. Chance, maybe. So with that, the first half comes to an end and Manchester United hold the advantage. Well, I hate to say it, but we were absolutely right about their defending. They just look so well organised, they squeeze up at the right time, they drop off when needed and they close the ball down quickly. Defensively, that was almost the perfect first half. Second half underway, with United looking to build upon a largely positive first half showing. Crossing possibilities. Well, he failed to deliver that time. Well, he knows that could prove to be a big miss. This game's not over yet. And a timely intervention. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV. And looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Crystal Palace facing Spurs. Oh, what a great chance this is, Derek. 
the keeper. Well, of course he should score, but what a save that is. Who can they pick out? Just far too close to the goalkeeper. It's a fine United move in the making. Oh, a powerful effort. Close. Well, as you can see, United have dominated possession in the last 15 minutes. And with it, have created some great openings. They certainly look as though they get another before too long. And the ball back with Crystal Palace now. Running with the ball confidently. That's a useful cross. Pretty routine there for the goalkeeper. And a tidy tackle. And a throw in here for United. Substitution time as is here. De Ligt. Given away by Manchester United. And offside, unfortunately. And Palace with the ball again. Well, these fans are right behind the team here. Can they get the equaliser, though? Out of play, then. And a Palace throw-in forthcoming. A wilting under the pressure. And now they try to go forward. Cairo Riedewald. Encouraging stuff from United. And Bellingham. Davies. Vinicius Jr. And the keeper won't be complaining about that cross. Poor quality. Vinicius released it nicely. Played into the box. Simple save, really. And Vermo. No advantage with them. Referee says play on. Possession lost by Palace. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left, and just one goal between the sides. Tyrick Mitchell. Wasteful again in possession. Trying to open them up. Could be in here. In it goes! To increase their advantage. And will that be the goal that ends up securing it for them? Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And then through on goal, you never really had any doubt that he wouldn't slot that away. It's a cool finish.
So the ball rolling again at 2-0. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Madison. Fancies it. And the corner's been given. Who's going to get on the end of it? And there goes the final whistle. Manchester United are the winners today anyway. What did you think of their performance, all told? Well, we spoke about their great defensive record, but today it was all about their front players. I thought they were excellent. Their ability to turn with the ball around the edge of the box was a real feature of their play. They were certainly good value for that win.
Thank you, guys. We'll be taking some questions now. Right, we'll be wrapping up now, guys. Thank you very much. A game of colossal importance and a stadium packed to the rafters. We can't ask for any more. How could it be otherwise when two high-level sides go toe-to-toe -to -toe and head-to-head? -head? This is football out of the very top drawer. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV Live. Floodlights are shining down on the players here at Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And we've got UEFA Champions League group stage action to bring you tonight. It's Manchester United against Feyenoord. Played into the centre. A oh, really good header, but the goalkeeper there to cover up. Playing advantage here. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking it to come, you would think. Well, there it is, the first caution of this match. Well, he didn't need to make the challenge, did he? He's under pressure now. It's a long time to go in this game. Good effort here! Well, that was a very respectable effort from such a long way out. Well, he hits it cleanly, and it's a very good strike, but just not on target. Well, here's the good news for the home fans. Their favourites are already through to the knockout stages, but they have the chance to secure a top spot in the group. Oh, Derek, big moment here. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. They couldn't maintain possession. Nice weight on the pass. And a goal right off the bat. No wonder they're jumping for joy. Here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace, the keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. One nil then. Number 17, Ryan Turkin.
determined defending has eyes for goal and the keeper taking it cleanly good work to win the ball back by United now let's see about the cross well, nearly shaving the post with that header Loyodis. Really good challenge. And continues his run. Sound piece of goalkeeping. And the ball back with United. More than decent this from United. Wonderfully weighted pass. Well, you've got to conclude that it was completely overhit. Using all his defensive acumen to cut it out. Calvin Stings couldn't hang on to the ball. Well, terrific anticipation without the ball. A bit of Gagan pressing and a throw in it'll be. Distributing it well. Using space on the opposite flank now. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop it. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. But the finish is far too easy. He doesn't even have to jump. How has he afforded that much space? It's a tidy header, but really poor defending. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Harding, can he find the right pass? A real opening now. And tried to place it with only the keeper to beat. Well, I have to say, I never really fancied him to score there. That was a golden opportunity. Oh, he's lost possession. Shaping to shoot, it's gone in, and well he might celebrate on the back of that. Well here it is again, he goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder, and then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity, certainly no stopping that, that's a great goal. So on with the game again, United in charge, the scoreline threatening to get ugly. Well, totalling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Well-timed tackle. Well, running room in the wide position. And there goes the whistle for half-time, and if results remain as they are now, they will be guaranteed top spot in the group, Stuart. Yeah, they've taken this group by the scruff of the neck, haven't they? Another good 45 minutes, and they'll have this all wrapped up.
Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in one of the other games and Alex Scott can fill us in. Yes, it's another goal for Barcelona. They've pulled one back with 47 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Safe pair of hands did his job. And don't forget, we have more Premier League action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Manchester United facing Nottingham Forest. Well, that cross was more than acceptable, but they couldn't fire at home. And played in. And that, a piece of goalkeeping you're going to see again and again and again. And he's fired over the corner. Good clearance. That is how to keep it out of the net. And time for the change now. Corner kick played in. Well, the keeper made that look relatively easy. In truth, it wasn't. And into the last 30 minutes now. In the right place to cut out the pass. And they know they need to stop him. Just couldn't get it through. Really good challenge. Chances on. Oh, goodness me, off the post. And a goal! That's his brace. They just can't keep him quiet. Well, just watch this again. He's bright, he's hungry, and he's determined. That's a good finish. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. A lopsided contest, 4-0. Into the final 20 minutes. And it might be a favourable situation, this, for Manchester United. Cross towards that far post. Oh, superb technique, but off the frame of the goal. Well, it was a great effort. It takes a lot of skill to control the volley like that. It really is unlucky. Superb effort to keep it in. And dribbling with it, but out of play. Loyal Dis. Well, time for a scoring update because things are changing. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a and he's found a bit of daylight. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. <laughs> Playing it in. 
just far too close to the goalkeeper. And apologies to Alex for having to interrupt her. To clarify, Barcelona did find the net in that game, and they are leading by three goals to two. They've lost it. Promising sequence. Delivering it into the box. He knows he's got to react. United come away with it. This looks promising. Useful cross towards the near post. He succeeds in clearing it. Oh, good strike! Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Trying to deliver it accurately. Clearance left a bit to be desired. Never really close to the goal. And it will be a goal kick. the final whistle and it doesn't get much better than this for them Stuart in the group stage top spot is theirs well over the course of this group they've been the best team they've played some attractive football they've worked hard to win the ball back and they deserve to be top dogs well he put in a really thorough performance here Stuart well he looked a top class player today every time he touched the ball he was a threat and he worked so hard for the team as well what a good display that was A glittering and meaningful occasion. And all week long, the football chatter has centred around this game and these talented teams.
which one will outwit the other in a stadium both packed and passionate. So many questions to be answered on a day of destiny. Stay with us, we'll have all the action for you from Manchester here on EA TV Live. And here we are at one of the great venues for football anywhere in the world, Old Trafford in Manchester. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Manchester United versus Nottingham Forest. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4 5 1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. Oh, body in the way, crucially. Who can they pick out? Just knocked it out of there. Rice, closing down well. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Well, the shape is the same, but they may play it in a slightly different way. And key to this game will be the fullbacks. Do they tuck in alongside their centre halves or look to support their wingers? I hope it's the latter. That was interesting to look at the table. And what can we say about these runaways, for want of a better word? Well, they're in a great position at the moment, as you mentioned, Derek. And you have to say their football has been exhilarating at times. If they can keep everybody fit, they should win the title comfortably. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Madison has eyes for goal and there it is the breakthrough that will do nicely well I have to say this is a really good goal just look how well balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. Well, it's a big moment for him. Just needs to get his players refocused now. One nil then. Number 10, James. An important interception. United might be able to cash in. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Now sending it in. Growing pressure here and another corner.
Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area. And then what a great finish as well. Good connection with the ball, leaving the keeper with little chance. It's a great goal. Well, no wonder he's delighted. They're bossing the game now. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Distributing it well. Targets available. Cross comes in. Oh, good save. Excellent header. Failure to keep the ball by Nottingham Forest. And the shot. Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. really well to get through and a goal it's a finish of real class no shortage of acrobatics on display here he's judged it to perfection incredible header well here it is again he goes past his markers so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and it's a comfortable finish in the end which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, you've got to say, an incredible first-half performance. That scoreline tells you all you need to know. It's a good cross, has to be. What a lovely strike! Lethal piece of finishing, drilled home with true conviction. Tremendous goal! Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it, and the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Well, that's just what he wanted. He has to be happy with this performance. They've been good today. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Davies. That's an effective cross aimed at the back post. And a goal kick will be next. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's having a tremendous game in attack, Stuart. Well, the keeper will be sick at the sight of him. He's been shooting from everywhere and he's taken his goals really well. Cleared away comprehensively. Declan Rice. And there goes the whistle. That closes the book on the first half here at Old Trafford. You certainly have got to give this man high marks for his work up to this point, Stuart. Well, what a first half he had. I thought he was outstanding. He caused the defenders all sorts of problems with his movement and pace, and he fully deserved his two goals. And I expect more from him in the second half. So the ball rolling again, and United very much in charge of this one. So let's see how the second half pans out. And a long way out here. 
Well, the keeper did his job. Didn't really have to work hard, in all honesty. United doing well to regain possession. Well, they must exercise caution standing off as they are. And quick thinking defensively. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Manchester United taking on Leeds United. The referee spotted the little nick on the way through, so a throw-in coming up. Well, United have certainly controlled the ball, as you can see. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been well worth their lead. Could get even better here. Right, what's happening at the London Stadium? I believe there's been a goal there, Alex. It's a goal for Everton. Oh, hang on, Alex, big chance here. Well, choosing to chip, and it wasn't so very far away. Well, it was good vision, excellent technique, but not quite the end result it deserved. And he'll go back and hand out a yellow card here. Yeah, he was always going to go back for that challenge. It was a poor one, you have to say. Well, unfortunately, we had to interrupt Alex just then. Apologies for that. Just to confirm, Everton did score in that match, and their lead stands at 1-0 presently. Given away by Manchester United. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Nottingham Forest facing Tottenham Hotspur. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Ibrahim Songare. United have it once again. He's got space. A deep delivery. But it's actually ended up being easy meat for the keeper. Oh, the keeper needed to do an awful lot better. Madison. Firing it towards goal. Oh, so near, but just unable to keep the shot down. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Fifteen minutes left for play. Went in strongly, decisively. Ibrahim Songare. And passing it through. Could it be? Oh, magical piece of goalkeeping. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. Such good reactions. It really is. And over it comes. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Out of play. United throw in coming up. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. United could be onto something. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And a penalty it is. Well, when you're behind in the game, you certainly don't want to be conceding spot kicks. Well, some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card. Well, I like that from the referee. Just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card. I think he's got it right.
and this could really make certain and there it is perfectly executed Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Alfonso Davies. Oh, nice ball over the top. He'll have a go here. Well, he was a long way from goal, but that didn't seem to bother him. Well, he won't strike a football much better than that. That certainly had the keeper worried. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. And he takes it away. We're well, using the space really well, but now can they push on? But he can't keep that effort on target and a goal kick it'll be. And there it is, the full-time whistle, a victory for Manchester United. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Now performing a star turn, not for the first time, James Madison. Stewart, he knows how to turn on the style. Well, he looked a top-class player today. Every time he touched the ball, he was a threat. And he worked so hard for the team as well. What a good display that was.